All right, so I'm going to walk you through in this video how you can install the mobile presets onto your phone through the Lightroom mobile app. So once you've purchased your presets, you'll receive an email with the compressed file and you just need to save that to your phone. From there, you need to unzip it. So a lot of the time, phones won't have the ability to actually unzip a file on their own. So you can just go to the app store and get something like unzip or iZip, super easy. So this is where I've already unzipped the files in here. So I'm just going to go in and you'll see that they have a question mark and they're called a DNG file. That's how they're meant to look. So once you have that all sorted out, you just need to go over to the Lightroom mobile app and we need to create a new album. So down the bottom, you've got albums and then on the right, you've got a plus sign. So we click on the plus sign and we create a new album. And I'm just going to call it Golden Day Ooh, Mobile Presets, Golden Days. Okay. Now we go into our new album and up the top right hand corner again on those three little dots, we want to go add photos. Now your presets are in a file format, not actually a photo format at this stage. So we just want to go from files. Here I've got my Golden Days and they'll look like this. So they look like a pretty flower. And basically this photo is the carrier of the preset. So once you add this photo into your app, then you'll have your presets ready to go. My advice is to work through them in the sequence um, that they're numbered. So golden days one through to five, and then your two black and whites. Uh, this just keeps it super organized. And then you know what preset you're applying. So I'm going to click on golden days one and then click on the photo that's just been added. And up the top right hand corner again, you'll have the three little dots and we'll say create preset. So I'm gonna call it GD1. And then under here, I'm going to create a preset group. Don't mind that I've already done it so many times. Um, so we'll just go golden days mobile for example and ticket and then under here you've got select now just leave all of those ones that are ticked ticked all the ones that are unticked just on their own um, if you go ticking other things you'll have weird crops and stuff like that applied to your photos which you do not want so we'll go ahead that's all done we'll just tick that at the top right and we've added golden days one now we'll go back and we will click the top right again and add photos from files and we'll go golden days two click on that and again we'll just press the top right hand corner create preset and we'll call this one gd2 now what you need to do is remember to add it to the preset group that you just created so for example, I'm just going to chuck it in any just to show you because I'm getting confused between the names, but add it to the preset group you just created and then tick here. And that's it. What you want to do is go through all of these. I'm just going to show you all of these right through. So five color, two black and white, and then you've added them all to your mobile app. Now, what we're going to do is go into our photos and we can apply them. So I'll click on a photo and down the bottom here is your control panel. We slide along to presets and then you can start applying them and seeing how they look to your photos. Click on this one, go over to presets and that's it. 